Christian Pulisic's journey from a rising star at Borussia Dortmund through a turbulent spell at Chelsea to his current form at AC Milan has been a wild ride. But right now, it feels like Pulisic is reaching a new peak, especially after joining Milan. The winger has finally found a system and a club that allows him to showcase his talents without restrictions. At Dortmund, Pulisic was just a teenager, a breakout star who definitely showed promise, but he was still so raw. He made 32 league appearances in the 2017-18 season, contributing four goals and five assists. These are very respectable numbers for someone so young, just 17 years old, but they hinted at potential rather than current greatness. His role at Dortmund was that of a dynamic winger who loved running at defenders, but his decision making wasn't fully developed yet. He was still learning how to pick his moments and he was still learning how to finish moves decisively. His time at Dortmund was about promise and potential, but he hadn't quite hit the heights many expected. But the positives that he did have, his dribbling ability, his pace, his creativity, well, it caught the eye of the biggest clubs in Europe, leading to his blockbuster move to Chelsea in 2019 with almost £16 million fee, making him the most expensive American player in history, and that fee obviously came with sky-high expectations. Willis' Chelsea career started with promise. During the 2019-20 season, he put up arguably his best performances under Frank Lampard, including that unforgettable performance against Manchester City, where he scored a brilliant solo goal. By the end of that season, Pulisic had 9 goals and 4 assists in 9 19 starts in the league, showcasing his ability to perform in the Premier League. But the injury bug bit hard, and over the next few seasons, his momentum was repeatedly derailed. Pulisic's game time was inconsistent, and despite moments of brilliance, he couldn't string together enough matches to cement a spot as a guaranteed starter. His final season at Chelsea tells the story best just 821 minutes in the Premier League, one goal and one assist. For a player of his caliber that came in for the money that he came in, it was nowhere good enough. It wasn't just the injuries though. Tactically, Chelsea never seemed to really fully unlock Pulisic's potential. Under multiple managers from Lampard to Tuchel and beyond, he was moved around different positions, sometimes deployed on the left, sometimes on the right, and even occasionally through the middle. His time on the ball was often limited, and when he did have possession, he'd be forced into tight spaces, unable Able to use his pace to exploit defenses. At times he was guilty of maybe taking too many touches, potentially slowing Chelsea's attacks down and diminishing his own threat through doing this. In my eyes at Chelsea, Pulisic was a victim of circumstance, an immensely talented player who never really got the right platform to thrive at Stamford Bridge. But at AC Milan, that platform is now in place. Since arriving in Italy, Pulisic has been a revelation. Last season, he contributed 12 goals and 9 assists across 36 City appearances, and this season, he's on pace to surpass that with already getting 5 goals and 3 assists in just 8 City appearances. Across all competitions in the 24-25 season, Pulisic has scored 7 goals and got 3 assists in 11 appearances, playing a total of just 9 900 minutes. His current form is simply sensational and for context he scored two goals in three appearances this season in the Champions League and he continues to be Milan's go-to player when they need a spark of creativity. The comparison between Chelsea and Milan is stark. At Chelsea Pulisic was often criticized for taking too many touches, slowing down the attack, but at Milan, his decision making is far sharper and he's been so much more direct. His progressive carries are up as he's averaging 4.5 per 90 this season compared to 3.8 last year. This shows a player who is more confident driving the ball forward and creating opportunities. He's already improved in his defensive work rate and Pulisic's game is just becoming more well-rounded and has translated into more decisive performances on the pitch. That growth isn't just in stats though, it's in the way that he plays. Milan's manager Paolo Fonseca initially expected experimented with Pulisic as kind of a number 10, wanting to utilize his vision and his playmaking skills more centrally. But soon after Fonseca realized that Pulisic is best when he is given the freedom to drift inside from the right hand side. The result? Well, it's a player who can impact the game in multiple areas on the pitch, whether it's with an early dribble to break the defensive line or run in behind to finish chances. His standout moment came in the recent derby della Modena against Inter, where his quick feet and sharp finish gave Milan the lead just 10 minutes into the game. Pulisic's goal was the match-defining moment, and his all-round performance cemented him as the best player on the pitch that day. It was a reminder of just how far he's come from those injury-plagued years at Chelsea. Beyond just 
stats, Pulisic is now a leader. At 26, he's no longer the young prospect everyone was waiting to see bloom. He's finally arrived, not just for Milan, but also for the American national team, where he continues to be their most crucial player. Heading into the 2026 World Cup, the burden of expectation on Pulisic is heavier than ever, but this time he seems more capable of carrying it. His time at Milan is proof of what he can achieve when he's fully fit, confident, and part of a system that maximizes his strengths. Christian Pulisic has not only made it now as one of the best Serie A players, he's thriving and he's becoming one of the top players in Europe right now. 